So this is a poor man's acid flush for this AC unit. It's been exposed to the elements. The line set was like the condenser was stolen, so the line set's been exposed for like a decade. Um, those those kits are like really expensive, and I, I remember as a kid like cleaning pennies, copper pennies, that you just use uh, vinegar and salt. So what I did is I rigged up a loop, uh, and this is a cool feature. I made like a, it's like a vortex filter. And, and so this vinegar salt solution is just running through the line set and it's trapping any like debris that were in the line. Um, now, whenever this is done, now you don't, you don't want to leave the, the acid solution, you know, coated in your line set. So what I'm going to do is follow it up with some baking soda and water and flush it through again. Uh, that should neutralize the acid. Uh, and the the salt in there dissolves in water, so that should help flush that that solution out. And then the other big enemy in your AC unit is moisture. Um, luckily, acetone is super like volatile, so and it will uh, it attracts water, so like it'll absorb the water and uh, evaporate off. And it's also got a neutral pH of 7. And that should be the finishing solution. And I've, I've got a, once that's done, to help it aid in the drying process, I'm going to put this at the top end, at a heat gun, and hopefully that will have a dry line set. A brand new, fresh, dry line set. And then, like, just as to show you, like, that's, that's what it does. Just dipping it in there for a little bit. Uh, I'm only going to show you the, the inside, where the evaporator coil is. So I just ran a, a tube all the way through the house, it's like 20 feet. And it just creates a continu continuous loop. And then the next line I'm going to do is this one. Um, I, got an, uh, I got an acid test tester. So once this is all done, I'm going to let it run for a few days and blip out a little bit of gas to give it a test, see if, they're, if it, if it kind of worked. Um, I mean, I really have nothing to lose here. Like, I got that a used heat pump for 200 bucks. So, you know, if, if it all goes tits up, then, hey... I'm out 200 bucks and a little bit of vinegar. So I just thought that would be something worth sharing. Um, I know a lot of the techs probably don't have the time of day to, to do this, but I had loads of time and I just wanted to, to do an experiment. All right. Peace out.